Welcome to the installation guide for Solobox Comp, Unirac's ultimate junction box experience. This video will demonstrate the proper method and best practices that will make installation fast and simple. Let's begin by examining some useful features. With a watertight butyl strip and integrated flashing, Solobox Comp offers reliable rooftop protection and a waterproof attachment seal without the need for sealant. The enclosure is also protected with an overlapping lip to keep internal electrical components dry and safe. A removable hinged lid and a single preset screw allows quick access for installation and maintenance. The first step of proper installation is to find the attachment location. Solobox Comp must be placed between rafters. When ready, make sure that the area is clean and free of any debris, frost, or snow. Finally, remember that the butyl strip must remain covered until all attachment holes have been drilled and permanent placement of Solobox Comp can begin. The guide template will help determine where the shingle course above the attachment point will be cut. Position it within at least one inch below the bottom edge of the shingle above. Trace the perimeter of the guide template with a soapstone or other marking tool. Loosen the shingle course with a pry bar. Cut out this section along the lines using tin snips or any appropriate cutting tool. Solobox Comp fits smoothly into the space that was cut out. Slide Solobox Comp into place. Using a drill bit, Drill through the box and roof simultaneously within the approved drill zone. A maximum of three holes can be drilled into the drill zone, and all of them must be no larger than one inch in diameter. Verify that the penetration hole is not over or through a roof rafter or truss. Remove Solobox Comp from the attachment location and drill into the box and decking. Use the appropriately sized hole saw for the conductor fittings being used. Holes in the sides of the Solobox comp that accommodate PV wires leading into the enclosure can now be drilled. Be sure to only drill into the two side and bottom walls of the enclosure at the points indicated, never on the top wall, which faces the ridge of the roof. Holes on the walls of the enclosure can be up to one inch in diameter, and a strain relief can be installed into these holes. Be sure to clean debris away from the area. Once all deck and junction box holes have been drilled and connectors have been secured, Solobox Comp is ready to be permanently placed. Flip the box and peel away the protective slip covering the butyl patch. Slide the box into place and press Solobox Comp against the surface. Secure it to the roof decking through the mounting holes using the four provided decking screws. Torque until the EPDM washers expand, but be careful not to over tighten them, which would crush the washers and potentially compromise the waterproofing of the enclosure. In this example, Solobox Comp has been outfitted with two PV wire connectors on the side and one on its bottom wall. The attic run is in the upper right area of the approved drill zone which has been fitted with a metal flex connector. The DIN rail can also be installed into the box and should be secured with the included two number 10 to 16.5 inch thread forming screws. After managing all wires leading to the junction box enclosure, close the box lid and tighten the preset screw. Make sure that the top and bottom tabs are flush and secure. Once completed, Solobox Comp will be securely installed to the roof.